Hi guys, and today we're gonna do a Harper's Bazaar Iron Kim's 25 step beauty routine aesthetician reacts to. I'm really curious about to learn more about Korean skincare, so I think this is perfect for us to watch. Hi everyone, it's Irene Kim here and I'm very very excited to walk you through my daily skincare routine and my daily makeup look. First, I'm going to wash my face. Lather it up. Now the next step is toner. This is just a brand, a dermatologist brand from Korea that I've been using for years. And it's just very, very good for irritated skin. So good the ears, behind the neck. Don't forget this area. Next step is my secret serum that I get. Um, it's actually the leftovers that I get after my facials that I do once a week in Korea. And um, the dermatologist. Okay, so... Um so far she washed her face now i don't know what those products are they're obviously from korea from some dermatologist brand um but that's cool that's cool that she goes to dermatologist but it's interesting facials at dermatologist probably the esthetician that works at dermatologist office do that because dermatologists don't really do facials but maybe in Korea things are different. Maybe dermatologists actually do facials, which would be kind of cool because they would get a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Dermatologists, they usually just treat the skin. They're not really, they're concerned about the health of the skin. They're not concerned about anti-aging as well. But the interesting thing she said that it's for sensitive, like irritated skin. I wonder why her skin is irritated. Shouldn't it be good after 25 step skincare routine? Well, and it's also so cool that they don't throw away this leftover serum from you know facial and they let her take home it's kind of cool you know we give samples here in us to clients like a new brand but this is like what they use and then put in the bottle i don't know is that sanitary i don't know i don't know let's keep watching it's just like packs it up and i can travel with it it's like, boop. i don't really know what it is but it works and then I have my face mask. This is also a Korean brand. It's called BNV Biolab. And this is just like another moisturizing mask. Oh, and this is tricky because there's like leftovers on the front part. And like, I usually put it on before I put the mask on. Like you don't wanna waste. Now, it's interesting that she didn't know what that serum was or what it did. I don't know who this lady is, Irene Kim, um, but would you want to know if it's vitamin C serum, if it's hyaluronic acid, like what is, you know, in it? Is it peptides, brightening, calming? I don't know, hydrating. But then this is so Korean, the sheet mask. I actually did one last night from Estee Max, the collagen sheet mask. And I, they're kind of cold. I'm not like too fan of them, but they're kind of, they're, they can be nice like hydrating and they're so quick and they're easy to do. Just slap it on, leave it and then take it off. Let's keep watching. I look like this. Oh, I look crazy. <sighs> oh my gosh. I look like the Scream character. I'm gonna put the leftovers like on my legs. Don't wanna waste it. I'm going to take this serum. It's just vitamin C serum from SkinCeuticals. For me, I consider skincare as eating. So whatever you put into your body will reflect on you know, your energy and you have to customize. It depends on the day and how your skin feels, like what city you're in, what environment you're in. Um, right now I'm, tr I'm traveling so much, so I take extra care to, to moisturize, to give my skin the right food for it. Next up, another serum. 
Well, that's cool. You know, vitamin C is um, super brightening. It's good. Uh, I never tried SkinCeuticals brand. If you do you ever, ever use vitamin C, you want it to produce in the best You know, it's preserved, it's in a good bottle that it's not good because it, it it's only gets absorbed when it's like an L ascorbic acid. So I don't know if SkinCeuticals does that L ascorbic acid form vitamin C or no, but it's very like um, susceptible to air and it dissolves quickly and it might not be as effective. So, but it's in, in general, it's really good ingredient for your skin. And, um, so at least she knew what was in that one. I would Ta-da! A spoon, guys. So you don't need any fancy tools. I keep it in the fridge for a couple minutes. And then you just de-puff. So the first part is you go like up along the cheekbone. And just do like upward movements. See the difference? No? Yes. It just like circulates the blood flow on your face and really just like drains the limbs. And then the edge part, what I do is I take it and it's like you're scooping up your jawline. The decorte. You know, sometimes for events, like you're wearing like a low cut top or a dress. You want to really get that like nice line and just like drain it all out. Drain out the bad vibes. Now that I have my serum and I've depuffed my face, I'm going to go into my moisturizer. This is something that I discovered um, as my skin started to break out in the beginning stages of my career okay so that was very interesting i'm glad she's so resourceful and she doesn't want to waste anything um, but that's that's more like you know eastern wives in us were a little bit different i'm originally from europe lithuania so i get it reuse it you know use the very little bit there is on where you can um and then, moi then she's adding moisturizer, which is good. I don't know what kind of moisturizer it is, uh, but maybe it's for problematic skin. She said she had some issues with her skin. It sounds like she's an actress or something. She was talking about the career. Let's keep watching. But one more thing, cool, you know, it's good. It's gonna deep up. So whatever you can use, if you can use a spoon, that's fine. One of the reasons why I was breaking out, I didn't realize was I was allergic to oil. One of the reasons why I was breaking out, I didn't realize was I was allergic to oils. And I, I used to slather coconut oil all over my face because like some article on Google said it was like the best thing for you. And then I went to my dermatologist, I took an allergy test. Everything Okay, so so good that she doesn't use coconut oil anymore in her skin because, you know, coconut oil on your face is a no-no. Don't do that. Its molecules are too big to penetrate and to actually moisturize your skin. It's just going to, you know, sit on top of your skin. And then another moisturizer. Very interesting. What is not for everyone. And the next step is another moisturizer. <laughs> It's a lot heavier than the first cream that I used, but um, because I'm doing like a dewy skin look today, I'm just going to layer on a little bit more. Sunblock. Sunblock, I put on religiously. I even put it on in the evenings. Not before bed, but if I'm going... Well, that's excellent sunblock, sunscreen, she calls it sunblock. It's amazing. It's the best thing you can do for your skin. You should always wear sunscreen. No debate, no questions. Do it every morning and your skin will thank you when you get older. Um, and so that one's a heavier 
I wonder if they have any sort of active other ingredients in it, maybe some niacinamide, maybe, don't know, I'll be curious to see, but I'll put on some black because there are also a lot of UV rays in lighting, obviously, so I do not leave the house without some block. Even if I'm going to like a deli to get milk or something, I will go, I will put on sunblock when I leave the house. And then next step is more sunblock. <laughs> so this is a um, BB cream with SPF. This consistency is a lot more like a foundation. Like the other one is kind of like a lightweight serum, but I like to use this also as a base. Next step, I'm going to apply my foundation. Well, that's very interesting. She's layering so many things. If I layer that many things without giving proper break for each ingredient to absorb, I'm going to start like peeling those little white things. By the way, I am peeling because I had a peel a couple days ago. So that's not part of this. My skin is actually peeling. But you know what I'm saying? It's like coagulates when like one ingredient has like silicone maybe in it and then they don't mix well. And then if they don't absorb and then you put the other ingredient that's maybe occlusive, you know, it's going to not look good. Um, and then makeup on top might not look good. But maybe she's got it down where all these ingredients really are well formulated where they can work synergistically. Um, now, the BB cream, I have less SPF than the original sunscreen. So that's you know, good she added an extra one before, but that's like a lot already, but. When I took an allergy test with my dermatologist in Korea, she recommended these stick foundations and I've been using them for like five or six years now. So I'm going for like uh, my everyday go-to makeup look. It's like this like kind of peachy, dewy, pinky look. So I'm going to take this color, peaches and cream, all over my eye. Oh, it's, it smells peachy too. Then I'm going to take a brush and use the same color. And That's fragrance in it. Okay, so maybe let's see this makeup too. The same color and just like go under part of my eye. I like to go under because it just gives an illusion of um, more depth and definition because I do have, you know, very almond shaped eyes. Oh yeah. Before I layer on more shadow, I'm going to do eyeliner. So one thing that I have a tip for for eyeliner is, you know how some people or most people will angle your face into the mirror and do the eyeliner and then come back and realize like it's too high too low so what i do is i look in the mirror and i just look straight forward and then i shape my eyeliner so you can get the exact angle that you want hey that's pretty good well that's a good tip you know especially with coal eyeliners or smudgy ones where you can easily shape them and fix them with the brush or take them off a little bit if you need to you know you know you see look from the far and then, and then later you can come up closer and you know if you want to create some more detail or use uh like a liquid or something on top that would something you could do but that's a good tip and i'm gonna go in and just fill in my lash line it's time for the most important part of my routine is curling my eyelashes i'm very very particular about my eyelashes um in general i think asians eyelashes are very straight and um, and um I have not been curling my lashes ever, ever, until I went to makeup school and I'm like, oh, yeah, 
You know, that makes sense. That kind of looks cool, actually. I used to think that did nothing, but it does open up your eyes really nicely. Um, to curl them is just like a whole, a big deal for me. They need to always be curled. It's like you need to do like an upward movement as you like clamp, but like soft clamps. <laughs> so you start deep in and then you go boop, 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 boop. And you get this like nice swoosh curl. Oh yeah, see? See how that like opens up my eyes? I'm gonna go back to my palette. This one is just peachy. I'm just gonna go and swoop it across so you get this like semi ombre effect. Yeah, she was very particular about her lash, eyelash curling, but that th th made a nice effect, nice effect. And the eyeshadow choices, that looks nice. And then I'm going and then I'm going to take a liner brush and use the same color just on the corner of my eye. One thing about Korean makeup, it's all in the really, really tiny details. Even if it's like the smallest dot or smallest like swipe of a certain color of eyeshadow or layering, it makes such a huge difference. I'm gonna take Fresh Picked and then I'm just gonna go like right along the bottom lash. So I'm just gonna take one of the darker colors and just go right in the middle of my bottom lash line. I'm not gonna go all the way through. And then it just like opens it up magically. Okay, next step is mascara. So this is just like a, a mascara. Very important to use mascara. I'll call it primers, volumizers. I use a primer from Jennerdell and then I usually use Max Maximizer. It does make a big difference, especially if you're not gonna wear false eyelashes. It's really nice to have. Booster thing that I'm gonna just Put a few swipes on. So when I apply mascara, I don't use the full brush. I like that's an excellent tip to use like the top there. That way it puts more product on to use the tip and just like and this is my beauty hack that I learned from makeup artists in Korea. I probably wouldn't recommend you to try this at home because it involves fire <laughs> and a broken end of a used q-tip so fancy so what i do is i take the lighter and heat up the wooden stick maybe like four seconds and just like Use your hands to see if it's warm. Then I'm just gonna curl it up. I know some people heat up the eyelash curler, but what the heat does, and I don't know, maybe it's like scientific or a reaction, but... Now, that's something I would not recommend doing. The heat on your eyelashes is not good. Like, ironing your hair is not good. Heat for your hair is not good. So my, you might help them to stay and curl better, but you're gonna, it's not good for their health, in my opinion. So I don't know, I've never seen this. It takes off all the excess clumpiness of the mascara as well. So as it curls, see, like you can see the excess mascara, like it removes it too. So it gives a lot more of a natural eyelash look. Make sure it's a wooden Q-tip because if it's plastic, like obviously it's gonna melt. 
So I just love bushy brows. I think they're natural. Yeah, it's Korean. It's all about natural. That's what I was thinking. You know, it's for the natural look. It'll take off those clumps. Natural and beautiful. Like even these like little baby hairs, like I just leave them. And I'm gonna use my little baby brow mascara from Benefit. The name is so cute. Gimme brow. Gimme, gimme. This side is up and this side is down, so I, I use the mascara to like brush this side up to make it more even. The next step is blush. It's cute how she calls it brow mascara. It's actually brow gel, I guess you would call it. But yeah, it's now that trend, you know, raising up your brows. That's good. So this is the bottom part where it has the blush. And then the top part is twist it open Ta -da! it's a heart so cute right so I'm just gonna stamp it so I'm just gonna go in the center ah! <laughs> and then I have my three lip colors two of them from are from Giorgio Armani and one is from Fenty so I'm gonna use the first one this is lip mastro and just like go all over that was super cute with those hearts yeah oh and that that color fits her kind of like I guess pinkish she has like sort of like a cool tone in her skin tone um and uh, she didn't use any lip primer that's interesting my lip and use my fingers to just blend i just like the natural look and then take the pinkier color then just go in the center to give that like ombre effect just a few dabs and then I just add a touch of gloss and I think I'm done! Take the clips off. I'm just gonna brush through my hair with my tangle teaser. People make fun of me all the time for carrying this around but it's literally the best, best brush ever. Make sure you don't have any lipstick on your teeth. And that's it! I'm done! This is just like my daily look that I do every day for events or when I have to do my makeup on my own. Just giving the MFBB look my face but better with the glowy healthy skin. Like make sure you guys, you know, it's just as important what you put in and the different steps that you have for your skincare routine as much as, you know, the garnish which is the makeup thank you guys so much for following along with me bye annyeong Twenty-five step skincare routine. It's twenty-five step beauty routine, which you know those steps had makeup in it too. So that makes me feel better. So it wasn't anything crazy. It's very natural. Let me know, guys, what you think. We appreciate if you gave thumbs up if you like this video, and I'm on Instagram at you leader brilliant, and you can subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a brilliant day. Bye.